It is known as the Garden of the Costa del Sol, Estepona. Its typical Andalusian streets are decorated with hundreds of flower arrangements, as well as colourful pots hanging from the walls. The town of Estepona is around 90 kilometres away from Malaga city centre and just a little over 80 kilometres away from Malaga airport. It is a charming coastal town with a revamped old quarter, coming alive especially during the summer season. Its development has been influenced, as with many other places on the Costa del Sol, by the Phoenicians, Romans, Moors and Christians. Hi there, I'm Miguel and I'm Natalie and this is Click Spain to us. Stay with us as we show you some of the places of interest in Estebona. But before we go ahead, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to press on the subscribe button and also on the bell. This way you'll be notified when we post a new video. Ok, vamos! Let's start in the town's old quarter in the Plaza de las Flores, one of the old quarter's main squares, where you will be able to enjoy a drink, tapas and visit or even stay at the hotel Silken El Pilar Andalucía to enjoy some beautiful views of Estebona. Here in the Plaza de las Flores is where you will find the tourist information office which is housed in the Casa de las Tejerinas, another place of interest. La Casa de las Tejerinas, a rectangular base building with a central patio from the 18th century, is used as a cultural space, exhibiting contemporary art, especially 21st century paintings of well-known Spanish artists. La Torre del Reloj, found in Plaza del Reloj, is the tower of the old Iglesia de los Remedios, built during the 16th century. The church was badly damaged in 1755 due to an earthquake and was later demolished, leaving just the tower. In the 18th century, a new classical belfry was added to the tower. An interesting piece on the tower is its sundial which is found on the south side. Located in the Plaza de San Francisco is the Iglesia Nuestra Señora de los Remedios. It was built in the 18th century with the help of Estepona's people. And originally it was used as a convent by Franciscan friars until 1835. Today it stands as the parish church of Los Remedios. The main façade has a baroque front made of stone, which combines Marian, Franciscan and colonial iconographic elements, which remind us of the Hispano-American façades.
Somewhere different and unique to visit is the Orchid House, which is surrounded by a botanical garden. The Orchid House contains over 5,000 plants, including more than 1,300 species of orchids from around the world. A small man-made lake and three waterfalls, one of them being over 15 meters high. While you are walking along the streets, don't miss the many murals that decorate the building facade in Estepona. There are actually over 60 murals of great quality and originality that are part of a mural route, a new way of enjoying art. There are many places where you can enjoy some delicious food. Hey, it's lunchtime. And we are going to eat next to the remains of El Castillo de San Luis. Now let's show you what we are eating. Estepona's coast extends over 20 kilometers, offering a total of 17 beaches. The closest beach to the town center and the most emblematic one is La Playa de la Rada, of nearly 3 kilometers in length and which has a spacious promenade. The ample promenade is a lovely place to enjoy morning, afternoon or evening strolls. It has a children's play area and you can also enjoy the big size outdoor chess boards that are on it, as we did. Colours along the promenade are a continuation of Estepona's theme of flowers everywhere. As you approach the port, you will pass by the 20th century Punta Doncella lighthouse, which together with the lighthouse in Ceuta, across the Mediterranean Sea, emit the beams of light that help guide vessels through the Strait of Gibraltar. Estepona's marina is a lovely setup. It is the ideal place to take some time out after a day touring around town. It has water activities on offer throughout the day and there is also a variety of bars and restaurants. Enjoy the sun going down, the stunning views, the people walking by and breathe in the sea air that is so special.
We've come to the end of this short tour of Estepona and we hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already subscribed, we're begging, begging you. Subscribe to our channel, please do. And share and like. Take care and God bless. Hasta la próxima.